Howdy, tech enthusiasts and digital daredevils. Welcome back to another electrifying tech galore video, the show where we take a hilarious dive into the world of technological mishaps and digital disasters. Today, we're about to embark on a journey through the annals of tech history, where we'll uncover some of the most memorable and downright disastrous tech fails to ever grace our screens. So grab your popcorn, settle into your favorite chair, and get ready for a roller coaster ride of laughs, groans, and face palms. But before we delve into the chaos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join our tech-loving community and never miss out on the fun. Let's kick things off with a classic. The Windows 98 blued screen of death. Ah, yes, the dreaded BSOD, the stuff of nightmares for PC users everywhere. Just when you thought you were about to conquer the digital world, BAM. Your screen turns a lovely shade of blue and your computer grinds to a screeching halt. It's like the universe's way of saying, not today, my friend. Now you might be wondering, why blue? Why not pink or purple or polka dotted? Well, legend has it that back in the early days of computing, blue was chosen because it's a color that's hard to ignore. And trust me, when you see that blue screen staring back at you, you'll definitely be paying attention. So next time you encounter the BSOD, just remember, you're not alone. We've all been there, and we'll all get through it together. Next up on our list of tech fails, the iPhone 4's antenna get. Ah, Apple, the company known for sleek design, cutting edge technology, and occasionally, a few hiccups along the way. Case in point, the iPhone 4, which was hailed as a game changer in the world of smartphones, until users discovered a tiny little flaw with its antenna. Turns out, holding the phone a certain way could cause signal strength to drop faster than a hot potato. Now you might be thinking, how could a company as innovative as Apple overlook something as basic as antenna placement? Well, it just goes to show that even the tech giants aren't immune to the occasional blunder. But hey, Apple being Apple, they didn't just sweep the issue under the rug. They offered free cases to iPhone 4 owners to mitigate the problem. So next time you're struggling to get a signal, just remember, it could be worse. You could be holding an iPhone 4. Moving right along, let's talk about the Y2K bug, the tech fail to end all tech fails. Back in the heady days of the late 90s, the world was buzzing with excitement and a healthy dose of panic about the impending turn of the millennium. But lurking beneath the surface was a digital time bomb known as the Y2K bug. You see, many computer systems at the time were programmed to recognize years using only two digits. 99 for 1999, 00 for 2000, and so on. But when the clock struck midnight on January 1, 2000, those systems would suddenly think it was the year 1900, causing widespread fear of global technological meltdown. Would planes fall from the sky? Would banks lose all record of our savings? Would our toasters rise up and overthrow us? Thankfully, the apocalypse was averted, but not without a fair amount of nail-biting and late-night software patching. So next time you're fretting over a software update, just be thankful it's not the end of the world or the end of the millennium. Now let's take a trip down memory lane to the granddaddy of all tech fails, the AOL Instant Messenger AM, away message. Ah, the early 2000s, a time when dial-up internet ruled the land and AM was the social network du jour. But for every witty away message proclaiming BRB eating pizza, there was a cringe-worthy mishap waiting to happen. Picture this. You're chatting with your crush, pouring your heart out in a carefully crafted message, when suddenly, BAM. They're greeted with an away message announcing your undying love for Hanson and your penchant for collecting Beanie Babies. Talk about a mood killer. But hey, we've all been there and we've all learned the hard way to double check our away messages before hitting send. And finally, no journey through tech fails would be complete without a nod to the one and only Microsoft Clippy. Ah, Clippy, the bane of every office user's existence. The anthropomorphic paperclip who just couldn't take a hint. Sure, he meant well, but let's face it, nobody asked for his help and nobody wanted it. Whether you were writing a letter, crunching numbers, or composing a resume, there was Clippy popping up at the most inopportune moments with his unsolicited advice and condescending tone. It looks like you're writing a breakup letter. Would you like help with that? No, Clippy, I would not. But hey, at least he gave us something to laugh about and something to commiserate over with our fellow office warriors. Now let's dive into the realm of gaming with a tech fail that left players scratching their heads. The infamous Red Ring of Death, 
on the Xbox 360. Ah, the Xbox 360, a console beloved by gamers around the world for its impressive graphics and expansive game library. But lurking beneath its sleek exterior was a fatal flaw that would strike fear into the hearts of gamers everywhere. Known as the Red Ring of Death, this ominous occurrence would cause three red lights to encircle the console's power button, indicating a hardware failure that rendered the Xbox 360 unusable. Gamers would often refer to it as the rod, and tales of its devastating effects spread like wildfire across internet forums and gaming communities. Microsoft eventually addressed the issue with extended warranties and improved hardware revisions, but the red ring of death remains a cautionary tale for gamers everywhere. And speaking of gaming mishaps, let's not forget the disastrous launch of the highly anticipated game, No Man's Sky. Hyped as a revolutionary open-world exploration game with procedurally generated planets and endless possibilities, No Man's Sky had gamers buzzing with excitement leading up to its release in 2016. However, upon launch, Players quickly discovered that many of the promised features were missing or not as advertised. From barren planets to void of life to repetitive gameplay loops, No Man's Sky fell far short of the lofty expectations set by its marketing campaign. The backlash was swift and severe, with players demanding refunds and criticizing the developers for overpromising and underdelivering. While subsequent updates have improved the game significantly, the launch of No Man's Sky stands as a cautionary tale about the dangers of hype and expectation in the gaming industry. Now let's turn our attention to the world of social media with a tech fail that left Twitter users scratching their heads. The infamous Twitter fail whale. Ah, the fail whale. A beloved symbol of Twitter's early days, when the platform was plagued by frequent outages and downtime. Whenever Twitter experienced a technical issue and went offline, users would be greeted with an image of a whimsical whale being lifted by a flock of birds, accompanied by the message, Twitter is over capacity. While the fail whale became a cultural icon and spawned countless memes and parodies, it also served as a reminder of Twitter's struggles to keep up with its explosive growth and popularity. Thankfully, Twitter has since improved its infrastructure, and the fail whale is now a relic of a bygone era but its legacy lives on in the annals of internet history. And finally, let's delve into the realm of virtual reality with a tech fail that left players feeling more nauseous than immersed. The infamous Virtual Boy by Nintendo. Released in 1995, the Virtual Boy was marketed as a revolutionary gaming console that would transport players into immersive 3D worlds. However, instead of revolutionizing gaming, the Virtual Boy was a commercial and critical flop. With its monochromatic red graphics, bulky design, and tendency to cause headaches and eye strain, the Virtual Boy failed to live up to the hype and quickly faded into obscurity. It's now remembered as one of Nintendo's biggest missteps, a cautionary tale about the perils of rushing technology to market without proper testing and development. And there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour through some of the most disastrous tech fails in history. From the Windows 98 blue screen of death to the misadventures of Microsoft Clippy, we've laughed, we've cried, and we've probably shouted at our computers a time or two. But through it all, one thing remains clear. Technology may fail us from time to time, but the laughter it brings is always worth it. If you enjoyed this journey through the annals of tech history, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more tech-tastic content, and ring that bell to never miss a hilarious tech fail. Until next time, happy computing.